got accepted in the occupational pa uh, therapy program, so I'm going to, uh, to pursue that career. And I kind of picked that for uh, the school for occupational therapy first, and track just kind of fell in place for me, so it's very helpful. Um, I just kind of wanted to get everything out of the way now, so I would was stressfully free going into school, so I can just kind of focus on myself and focus on my athletics. So I'm just like so stress free right now, and I'm happy about it. Um, here it's like it's a smaller school, so we we're not recognized as much. So with me and Jess, we were always pushing each other to do the best. My freshman year coming in, um, she was telling me like you have to do this and this. Um, so I just kind of worked hard on it, and I just uh, we just wanted to make our town proud and like get our names out there so it, it kind of like all worked out for us and now we're going to be competing against each other. Actually my coaches they pushed me to work my hardest. My mom and dad they pushed me again to be my hardest and they never gave up on me um, but I have to say my sister was my biggest supporter. Um, she's always like she's been so like she's always happy for me. She's always pushing me to do my best. She's always telling me that I need to like work my hardest and she's kind of just there to be my biggest motivator on the soccer field, on the basketball court, and in track. So I'm just happy that she's always there helping me. Yeah, and um, Elizabeth Town. But like those two schools compared to Miss, to me, it was like it was a no-brainer that I should have picked Miss. So just, like the campus and and the people surrounding it. Um, it's a small it's a smaller campus, and uh, just everybody they're like kind of like one big family. So um, it kind of made me feel at home. So I was just excited about that, and that's kind of what made me fall in love with it. It feels awesome. Um, um, I worked so hard to kind of get here. Um, I'm just really excited to uh, get to the campus and be able to show my coaches what I do. Two and a half hours isn't really far away, but it's not close to home either. So I think it'll give me a good like experience on my own. But also if I if I do need my mom and my dad, I can get home. <laughs> A bunch, a couple different programs, like tournament ball wise, and honestly, they've all given me something that I can take forward to the next chapter of my life. And my family has always been a great support system, and they've always been there for me and supported me no matter what. And I greatly appreciate everybody who's helped me. The program up there is phenomenal. Last year, they won the MAC conference, which gives them like a direct route into the College World Series. And the first game, they played LSU and only lost 2 1, which I mean, I guess in SEC school, that's just great like honestly I don't even know like <laughs> for a small school like Fairfield to go and be competitive against a big school like LSU I'm very excited to be a part of it in Florida and I got uh, they give out cards like recruiting cards so I emailed her and she was like oh I'd really love for you to come visit so then I ended up going up for a visit and as soon as I stepped on campus I knew that was where I was gonna go I love talking to coach B she's great I knew I'd fit in there because all the girls are they're just awesome. Just Fairfield in general is a great university and I'm very excited. Very excited. Honestly, I love everything about the school. Um, I'm planning on majoring in business and they have a great business program. It's one of the top probably in the Northeast. So I'm very excited about that. Their softball program is phenomenal. The coach there is awesome. She's amazing. Um, and the girls there, it's a great environment to be a part of and I'm very excited to go.